Hey, hello guys, and if you haven't seen from my four long minute, uh, I mean a little bit more, movie, basically, um, basically what I did was, like, major countries being switched around inside the episode. It was pretty interesting. I mean, you can check it out if you want. I mean, I'm not trying to waste your time. You can go ahead and check it out if you want right now and go come back to this one at any time. Anyways, so basically for today, what we're going to do is simple. A little mapping thing. Basically, we create our own little continent. And basically, um, we'll give it lore. Um, and I have already came up with everything, basically. So, um, let's just draw around like this. We're not even going to do it that Amazing. Uh, I think that's good. Okay, there we go. So I think we got enough, guys. Let's do this. And we'll add this island in. Sure. Why not? Alright, guys. Now we got this whole continent. And what we're going to call this um, island. Uh, let's see for text. This looks nice. I guess I'll use a bit bigger. It's gonna be called. Oh, maybe that's why. It's called. I said. All right, guys, we've came up with our own. Our own uh, continent name. That's such cool text. And we're going to start right here. So basically, right here is where we're going to start all. So around this time, okay, let's just get some bit of a gulp of land. Actually, I would just do a few colors in. Alright, um... Put here, there we go. Alright, I think that's good, guys. So, basically, what they call themselves is I said culture. Oh, shoot, I forgot. There we go. Now, over time, stuff evolves. That is very awesome. Now, I'm not going to talk all about it in this video. This is awesome text, I just want to say. But, what we're going to do is speed forward throughout into time. And, let's see. Let's go bigger amount. Ooh, that's a lot, but that's alright. The same amount. This amount. That's alright. I don't care, though effect in it so when it was like time when it got this amount this is where the fun really begins for our story for today so over up here we're, we're gonna have this dude okay so we're gonna have all of our main leaders of ISAD over here so um, this one, we're going to have to do a cut and white. Boom. There we go. So the first one of the leader, which, by the way, this country is going to be called, I said, Empire. Well, it was actually called that by a dude named Neon, which we're just saying this universe he was the one that named the element after himself either way back then they got a crown for that kind of stuff and ironically it's the same exact um kind of no it was at the same time where they just decided you both where he got awarded to be the ruler of the ice culture and 
basically got a low award for discovering or naming an element. And he got a crown. But he said on that day, Neon, which I have to, I have to edit, put in text. We're putting one, just in case. We'll see how weird this goes if we put in more dudes named Neon. We're probably not, but still. I'm not going to do faces, but you can imagine. Basically, he has a beard and a crown. So, on that day, he lifted up the crown, and he says, On this day, show forth. This crown will symbolize imperialism and owning big amounts of land, of being the ruler of the Isad continent. And he said, from this day forth, the Isad culture shall be called now the Isad Empire, since it rules over all or most of the continent. So, people were a big fan of this dude. He did lots of things that um, helped a lot of people out. One of the things he did was like um, make sure like there was a book that would be adding rules all the time. One of the things that was said was um, it was like the first thing. It had like paper there was multiple, they had to put covers so people know the title, and it was called a book. So, basically the, um, the first rule was, thou shalt not kill a man for, no, um, uh, I cannot talk right now. Why can I not talk right now? Thou shalt not kill a man unless for a very good reason. That shall not cause a war unless a very good reason. We make peace. And that's what it said. Alright. So, basically, we're just going to say a few years later, um, he says a five years is going to be an entire term. And he says, Thou un shall this day will make um, elections. Basically, he said, we'll set up political parties and political parties will form. So, down here, we're going to have our thing that will be our political parties. Alright, let's put in... I guess we'll use the right part. Wait. So, the, of course, the first amount is going to be all red. For right now and it his party is called we use the text oh there um party it's red I, I need black. okay good party of neon So that's the first one down. Of course, there'll be more as we go. But that's the first one. So, now this newly made party system. And we probably should create years, right, guys? So, we're going to say... Um, we're going to divide it up. Like... There's a fair one, and it will be, like, I'd say around, like, five and a half, or five years. So, we're just saying that time period, we'll call it during Nia. And then, after that, we'll call it after Nia. Okay. So, right here, we'll have... This is five. Okay, good. I feel like this should be bigger. Let's make it bigger, guys. 
Okay, guys. That's good. Guys. Perfect. So, now that we've... We're going to five doing Neon. Of course, he's kind of the center of traction. He decides to set up, of course, states and stuff. I'm not going to put them down, but I think you get the basis of what is to happen. And basically, um... I'm sorry, I, I keep on freezing. I don't know why I keep on freezing, guys. Sorry, this is probably going to be a long video. Get your popcorn, guys. Okay, so basically, I've said basically a lot. I'm going to stop saying that, guys. So, um... Oh, I cannot talk. So inside of the the states. He decided to set up these things called feast halls, just in case um, of any phantoms. Um, and basically, um, at the top of the, like, at the front of the table had the governors, the mayors, and at the middle is the rich people, and of course, at the bottom of the table, at the lower part of the table, was the peasants, the normal people. And of course, um, it's in between the middle and the lower was the farmers, since they were treated nice. So, everything was amazing inside this kingdom going on. Until inside, we'll just say, um, this is, hold on, guys. Okay, so I did some research, I can't believe I forgot, but, uh, the half of five is, of course, like, uh, shoot, 2.5, obviously. So at 7.5, doing neon, or DN, basically what was happening was that he was at a rally area and got shot yes wait no that would be not possible at this time because it was like kind of you think it, it's ancient times so we'll just say he got stabbed and he was assassinated so obviously it was very saddening for this to happen but now we start the new time. Let me just set up real quick. Okay, so it's now one um, after Neon. So now Neon, at least the first, we don't know if there's going to be more yet. Oh shoot. Is now. I went red. This is annoying. Boom. But now, we have a new contender. Over here. Boom. Cut. Let's just, just do a little fill in. Alright. So, this guy. Um, Wheel is the tech. Okay. I'm gonna call him for short. Why is that so big? Heesh. Mag Nisi one. Oh, one. And there we go. Let's do a little bit smaller since um it's more a lot bit larger text or more wider and stuff. Alright. So now we have this. So Magnesi is the son of Neon. And has taken all this stuff. Basically what is of happened. What has happened. Man I can't talk. Is that there, now there is protest everywhere. Which is leaving people exhausted and hungry. And when it's summer. It's 
gonna really um, drop people down where they don't live anymore. They're dead. So, that's gonna be even more of a problem. Um, population is decreasing. Uh, uh, crops are now, um, I, I think you know. But still, basically everything is now getting destroyed. And it's horrible. So, what now? Well, basically, he um, does make uh, these places that is like food sh shelters. And they got cooling stuff. Like cold water. Um, some somehow automatic fans some what like that and it's really helping people and he does this crazy thing that helps the country forever the continent forever so he makes this one law like it goes everywhere everywhere river everywhere that you can think of as you can see how long it is. I, I don't want to intercept it, but I, I guess I did. As you can see, it basically goes everywhere. So it's amazing. So basically what is happening is that um, there's pipes that connects to them. And basically, inside those pipes there, it can, it usually has like smaller wall pressure, basically goes to farms and can just touch the soil with, you know, gra grows grass a bit better and stuff. It's more nurtured and stuff. So it is really a good thing, really is helpful. So, um, the thing is, over here, And here, basically at the starts of those rivers, he does, like, build dams. And basically those dams hold water, like, often. So then when the long river is starting to get a bit dry and starting to run low, what he does is open these things. And that can draw in a lot of money because he p gives people mo no he makes people pay money to get a scenery outlook for the dam because both sides you know be pretty cool to see all this water coming gushing so people did pay for that and it was also a good way to earn money um what else oh yeah he also said that he legalized protests, so that's all right now. And that um, he helped the continent accept the death of Neon, which has decreased the protests and population is back to increasing. So now everything is amazing. Of course, we're gonna say it's now 6 a.m. because remember 1 a.m. is technically the depth of neon anyways boom okay so um now that's 6 a.m. it's not possible for them to be this is happening again. 6 a.m. And then, if you didn't know, he died at a f uh, feast hall. So, this is getting horrible. Of course, this may be crazy. It's true. Magnesi had a son that called him, um, where was it? 
make me see the second. Of course, people um, were saddened, but Maganisi exposed and found out something. That the food halls had these corrupt mayors and governors trying to obtain more power and stuff. So he made it a little thing that would stay forever to protect the ruler's house and the farms. I mean, less as much, but... And he decreased the the mayor's power, like if it's um, a very important thing or it's farms, they can't mess with it. They can do everything else. They decrease a city's amount, like lots of them. And they, they um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, oh, another thing. He demolished the f f uh, feast halls. So, of course, the feast hall people, uh, the governors and mayors, decided to come together since they were either arrested or killed. Once they got out of prison, they decided to make themselves a political party. Let's say about this much here. Which would just say this is like... Why would this be on that too? Like, one-eighth? I think one-eighth is reasonable. So, one-eighth. We're to say it's a color green because it, it, you know. It's hard to do any other colors and stuff. Let's see, can I recolor these parts here? I think I can, yeah. Alright, I think that's good. That's good. Alright, so basically now we have the... Feast Halls of Isad. Oh, another thing. You can call it Isad Empire, or you could call it Isadian Empire. Now, you call the people Isadian. Uh -huh. The culture back then was called Isadian culture. Basically, you call lots of stuff, like, I'm pretty sure even their language Isadian. Where does it say that? So, let, let me just put one real quick. I have to put black real quick. Boom. Well, I really want to put tilted a bit, honestly. That'd be nice. But it's alright. There we go. And that's it. <clears throat> now, after doing this, of course, he was not the most light. So then when it was, of course, I'm pretty sure it's like it would be 11 a.m. Where was a.m.? Okay, we'll just say, like, two turns went by. So, 17, 17, wait, no. Where would it be? Okay, so, 11, it's 16, it's 16. I don't know why I had a blow up there for a moment. So, it's 16 a.m., and he decides to resign. So we'll put a green check mark since he survived, obviously. So he's done with his stuff. So now we move on to the good stuff. So now, all right guys, as you can see here, uh, a whole area just left, which is pretty big. Uh, literally a bit, a bit of a big chunk. Speaking of which, then down here, woods. Oh shoot! No, I don't want that. This. 
And now the blue is being weird. Okay, great. Oh, great. Okay, there we go. And these people didn't even really invade um, the Ice Sardian Empire. They were peaceful. They didn't really want to invade anything, they just want to control the south. So, really, I'm just going to focus on the technicality, like, the main successful successor of the empire, if there is one. Alright, so now, basically, um... These two pieces decided to go independent. Well, actually, they wanted to be together, like as their own civilization, for farmers' reasonings. So they wanted to have like a whole council that would be for farmers, all the workers. Sounds similar to something. Hmm. Anyways, so basically, they take all of this land. I wish it wouldn't do that kind of thing to the river because that's just annoying and it's like I have to go back in and stuff and such it's just annoying man I have an idea why don't I use the weak maybe I should have done that I should have done that <sighs> okay we'll just say that it was an extension, okay? I mean, this is supposed to be the longest, and it's supposed to be everywhere, so. Alright, and then, I guess, we cover here. Boom. And they got a little bit of there. Nice. So, of course, as you can see here... The Asadian Empire is really not doing good. In fact, the farmers decide to invade here. Of course, the Asadian Empire is now falling to pieces. They can't do anything really about it. And of course, since, I mean, if you even know about late... Polish Lithuania history when there's three big countries and there's one that's decreasing over time um, there ends up to a partitioning what why is it doing that <sighs> I don't even have it where it's like okay well this is Man. Boom. I'm pretty sure now the Assadian Empire literally has no other. Oh, wait, no. Down there. Here. And we're going with. This is. I'm running out of colors now. We'll just use brown. Brown. We can use brown. So now, brown here, take over, of course, this area, and as you can see here, the Sadian Empire is now surrounded, and there's no more ocean there on here. They've only got rivers, and all the countries can't now agree on when to re release the two dams at the same time because you have to do that if you want to solve the problems and stuff. So, thing is, now brown country and the orange country hate each other now. They don't like each other. So, 
of course they're gonna go in constant argument and stuff over releasing and the problem is that a Sadian Empire really needs that liver stuff or else they're not gonna function they're gonna run out even more so then another country down well out Oh, oh no. No, let's just say this is its own country there. It does kind of look similar to um, <laughs> the South country a bit. So, of course, some countries who do not have the dam are going to get mad at the countries that do. So, of course, in friendship, the orange country decided to say, hey, you want to team up and annex um, the brown country, like, you know, go to war with it to get that, and we can be in an alliance so we can do it at the same time. And they said, sure, why not? So they go in and they take back the, the dam, and of course... The brown country is is very mad, and the teal country was hoping by now that the brown country would say, "Okay, fine, you get, you can have the dam," but no. Oh, a nice encirclement there. But the brown country said that it is a very valuable piece of our country and will be worthless without. Oh. Without it. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. So then eventually we get to the point where they take all the land. Alright. Boom. Oh, now it's there. Alright, now the black, I mean the orange, and the teal south country is now friends they're in an alliance now and i want to leave it here um because it has really fought apart and the leader right now is at the council they have no one they're in a lot of disarray it's so much at once they can't focus and that's the end of today's episode if this does get, let's just say, around five likes, I'll do an episode two. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!